half plane and half parachute. Meet the next generation of paragliders. Well, despite our problems, we finally made it out here to the aviation laboratory in Piatigorsk. And this is Alexander, and this is his state-of-the-art paraglider, the Begaliot. Now, are you ready to take it out for a test flight? You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. For Alexander Begak, paragliders aren't just a passion. They're his life's work. In his workshop slash home on the outskirts of Piatigorsk, he custom builds his own competition level flying machines. If the weather is right, his latest models can reach speeds of 40 kilometers an hour, and they have a range of about 100 kilometers. Alexander said he'd show us his creations in action, but only if we agreed to do him a favor and top up his tank. That's because his paragliders run on normal automobile petrol. Well, we've had to wait three days, but finally it's a beautiful, clear morning here on the outskirts of Piatigorsk. Now, the wind is just perfect, and Alexander is finishing up his pre-flight tests, so in a few moments he's going to make his maiden voyage here for us on Technology Update. We filmed Alexander's flight with our main camera on the ground and two mini cams mounted on his paraglider. After takeoff, everything was breezing along just fine until. A giant chunk snaps off the wooden propeller, and he's forced to make an emergency landing. One of our cameras bears the brunt of the propeller's impact. A few feet more, and something similar could have happened to Alexander's head. In a bid to impress technology update by showing us the top speed of the Begaliot, Alexander used a powerful propeller that he knew was slightly damaged. But the wind was blowing too hard, causing the propeller to fail. Because these vehicles are primarily gliders, they can make a safe landing even from a height of several thousand meters and if there's no engine power whatsoever. Although the accident has inflicted quite a beating on Alexander's Begaliot, he insists it will soon be ready to fly again. Better luck next time. <laughs> Paragliding from the highest peaks in Europe is certainly a pretty substantial achievement, but if Alexander has his way, his next feat will be truly extraordinary. Him and his team are building this paraglider just to beat the world altitude record at a special event in Sochi in June 2007. If he's successful, he'll reach an altitude of 7,000 meters. That's seven kilometers. Now, the air is pretty thin up there. So along with a bit of courage and a dash of recklessness, part of the standard equipment is going to have to include this air mask. Luke, the horse is strong with this one. 